going guys, that gamer Jake back here with another video and today we're going to be checking out the Acefa G7000 gaming headset. This is a wired 7.1 surround sound gaming headset for a PC. Let's get into the video. So the first thing that you're going to notice on the box is of course that very well presented image of the gaming headset itself and we will be unboxing it in a second but first let's go around the size of the box and see how it's advertised. Starting on the left side of the front of the box you're going to see that it is advertised to have soft ear pads, a 50mm driver and deep bass response. On the right side of the packaging on the front you're going to see that it is best use when you are gaming, listening to music, or simply watching a movie. I will be testing the gaming portion and the music portion today. Moving on to the right side of this packaging, you are going to see an image of the inline controls for the headset. Now this thing actually serves a lot of purpose that I didn't think it would, and it's actually very useful. This thing can control vibration, which is very um, special. You'll see how that works in just a second. It, can, it has a vibration control switch. You can change the volume up or down, mute the volume or the mic. It can control the LEDs and of course, turn the microphone on or off. Looking onto the back, it advertises that you can get long, comfortable wear out of this headset, a bright LED light effect, high class 50 millimeter speakers, 7.1 channel and vibration, a multifunctional mechanical wire, or inline controls, whatever you want to call it. A metal USB interface, so it's going to be very durable if you take it on the go. And full point noise cancelling microphone. We're going to test all of these features today to see if they live up to what it advertises. On to the last side of the box. The left side. So this shows you some highlights. The 7.1 surround sound system. The inline controller. The customizable sound through the software. The glaring blue light. USB connection. On to specifications, this thing has a 15Hz to 20kHz frequency response, the driver di diameter is 50mm, the sensitivity is 108 decibels, which is pretty high. The mic frequency response is 30Hz to 16,000Hz. The mic sensitivity is 38 decibels at 1kHz. The cable length is 2.1 meters. Um, in inches I'll leave that in the description or the video because I'm actually not sure what it is. It is a omnidirectional mic so no matter where you put it it's going to pick up what you say. The work temperature is 25 to 70 degrees celsius so it's pretty flexible there and the microphone dimensions itself is 6 by 2.7 millimeters so you're gonna have a lot of flexibility there. Also going back to the back of the box for a second I forgot to point out that they do have some contact information their website and the link for the software so you can download it, which we will all be checking out in the video. Hopefully it works, because last time I went on their website, it did not. So looking inside the box, you're not going to get a lot. The first thing that you're going to see is, of course, the headband for the headphones themselves. Then after you take the headphones out of the box, you will be greeted with a driver CD and an instruction manual, which unfortunately did not get captured in the video and I discovered later on. But it is in there, and it is a pretty thick instruction manual, so if you have any questions, you can either go to that or just go on their website. Let's move on to the headphone features themselves. The, so this isn't the normal average adjustable headset that you would normally, like it's not how you would normally adjust the headset. Instead it has this like interesting spongy band thing that makes you look like an alien if your head is super small because the, the bands are right above it. Um, you'll probably, I'll show you some footage of it right now. Let's move on to sound quality. So taking a look at the inline control, there's nothing super special about it. It does light up when the headset is on or when the headset is lit up so you know, but if, in case you can't see the mic, that will signal and tell you that it's on. So there's nothing super special about it like what I just said. The build quality is decent. It has these kind of nice grippy points on the back in case you want to hold it in your hand. And it does just have the Ace for logo and in the middle that button does not do anything to my knowledge. So let's go back to the headset. On the side of each headset, you are going to see branding with the ASFA logo and advertising and showing what model number it is, which is the ASFA G7000. Now there's nothing super special about this, although if you look very closely, you will see that there is this kind of like metal finish. It looks pretty cool. It's a fun, fun touch. On to the ear cups themselves and how comfortable they are. The ear cups are absolutely ginormous and I would not call these true over ear headphones. They don't really fit on my ears very well, unfortunately, but that might just be me. It might be completely different for you. My one complaint is how you adjust it and that is with that weird headband thing. I'm not a super huge fan of it because it can get 
uncomfortable and hard to adjust after a while. Overall, the headset isn't the most comfortable, so if you're on a budget, this will do. I would not recommend wearing this for long periods of time as it will start to hurt your head over a while, but it will do for short periods of gaming. Just take a break every once in a while, maybe use earbuds or something. Okay, you guys, so unfortunately I did not, um, I did not figure out how to download the driver, um, so I'll have to contact the company about that, and if I figure anything out, I'll leave you with a link in the description. But right now you are hearing the quality of the, right now you're hearing the audio from the mic and I'm recording from Audacity and I'll sync it up later with the footage from my camera. But I haven't heard the audio yet, so I hope that it sounds decent. I think it should because, I mean, I don't think that a mic can be that bad on a headset. It's not going to be crispy, clean. I mean, you don't need that in a $40 headset. That's what you expect. I mean, you already have some cool features like the vibrating ear cups but overall this is a pretty good headset so let me show you guys some b-roll and narrate okay you guys it is day two of this review and i realized as i was editing that i missed quite a few cool features that i think that should be pointed out so let's get into that starting off is those vibrating ear cups now i never really went over those even though i said i would and i'm sorry for that but they are really really cool and i've never heard of them until i saw this headset so the cool thing about these is that they respond to the bass so they have little what i'm going to call haptic engines in them and they respond to the bass so whenever like if there's a booming bass it vibrates a little so it makes you feel a bit more immersed in the game or into the music and it's just really really cool then it's a feature that you normally don't see on a headset for this price point another cool feature is the led lights now although i would have liked to see them be rgb um, for $40, it's what you get. If you don't like them, you can just turn them off, and that's the beauty of it. One thing that I dislike is that, um, headband thing that you, they have to use to adjust the headphones, but besides that, it's all good. Um, once you get used to it, it's not too much of a difficulty. But th the only other thing that I don't like about it is the ear cups, and, um, I would like to see them be a bit bigger, or a bit, uh, poofier around the edges, so then they would fit around ears better but that's just my personal opinion it might be different for everybody so so unfortunately i did not figure out how to download the drivers but i will do a follow-up video if i do figure that out i would like to thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you didn't you know what to do comment down below what i should review next thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one I'm a lama, do my lama, you assume I'm a human What I gotta do to get it through to you I'm superhuman, innovative, and I made a rubber So that anything you say is ricocheting off of me And it'll go to you and devastating More than ever demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience I feel like it's levitating, never